Once upon a moonlit evening, in a cozy little burrow beneath an old oak tree, lived a young rabbit named Peter. He was a lively little fellow with a mischievous twinkle in his eye and a penchant for adventure that danced within his fluffy cotton tail. One starry night, Peter overheard his mother, Mrs. Rabbit, cautioning him and his siblings about the dangers beyond Mr. McGregor's garden. Never venture into that garden, she warned, her voice filled with concern. The vegetables are delicious, but Mr. McGregor is not a friend to rabbits. His garden is off limits. Now Peter, being a curious soul, couldn't resist the temptation. He longed to explore the lush greenery of the forbidden garden, where the scent of ripe carrots and lettuce wafted through the air, teasing his nose. One morning, when the dew glistened like tiny diamonds on the leaves, Peter convinced his sisters, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, to join him in his secret escapade. We'll just take a peek, he assured them with a mischievous grin. We won't stay long. So, under the watchful gaze of the sun peering over the horizon, the four adventurous bunnies scampered across the fields and hopped into Mr. McGregor's garden. The garden was a verdant paradise, bursting with vibrant colors and tempting scents. Peter's whiskers quivered with excitement as he nibbled on a plump, juicy radish. The taste was exquisite, sending a thrill through his little bunny heart. But as they frolicked among the vegetables, munching on the tender lettuce leaves and savoring the crisp carrots, a shadow loomed over them. It was Mr. McGregor, his face red with anger, shouting and waving his rake menacingly. Shoo, shoo, pesky rabbits, he bellowed, chasing them around the garden. The rabbits squealed in alarm and scattered in all directions. Peter darted this way and that, zigzagging through the rows of vegetables, trying to escape the angry gardener. With nimble hops, Peter dashed towards the burrow, his heart pounding like a drum. He dove into the safety of his home, his sisters following closely behind. Breathless and relieved, they huddled together, giggling nervously at their narrow escape. Mrs. Rabbit looked sternly at Peter, but softened at the sight of her frightened children. Peter, my dear, you've had quite an adventure, she said, shaking her head. You may be mischievous, but I'm glad you're safe. That night, as the stars twinkled in the midnight sky, Mrs. Rabbit tucked her little ones into their snug beds. She kissed them goodnight and told them stories of their daring escapade, reminding them of the importance of listening to her warnings. Peter nestled into his cozy bed, feeling both a sense of mischief and a newfound respect for his mother's advice. With a contented sigh, he closed his eyes, knowing that even the most thrilling adventures couldn't compare to the warmth and safety of home. And so, lulled by the gentle rustle of leaves and the distant chirping of crickets, Peter and his siblings drifted into a peaceful slumber, dreaming of gardens and adventures yet to come. <laughs>